I've come down to Kensington I'm on Molyneux Road at the moment and just behind me is Shield Road and I'm following up a story that we did this week in which we said that Merseyside actually has the highest number of street beat sex workers in the country outside of London and many of you got in touch with us and said that one particular problem area for this kind of work is, is in Kensington and particularly in this area that I am now in, in Molyneux Road and Shield Road where people are saying they're quite regularly seeing women being exploited into sex work in this area. I just thought I'd come down to see if that's the case and it's about half eight now in the evening and I've just driven down Shield Road and uh, at least three separate women who I, I believe, I can't, can't guarantee it, I believe our, our sex workers have, have gestured at the car, walked towards it, smiled and indicated that that, that that is the work that they are doing. Obviously, as I say, we can't absolutely guarantee it, but considering it's broad daylight and it's only half eight, it does seem to correspond with what a lot of the people are saying, that this is a real problem area for for this type of thing. Now, it's important to point out that, that, that this is not us having a go at, at the women who are involved in this. The, the article that we ran this week is, is much more about the fact that these women are being exploited, that they're actually very vulnerable to violence, to trafficking, and the people we've spoke to in Kensington, residents here, say that there are projects around the place that try to help the women involved, but that they are seeing time and time again the different types of exploitation, trafficking, and violence against these women is going on. And it is a real issue for the local authorities to, to try and tackle the police. And we've seen that this week, Jane Kennedy and Merseyside Police have secured nearly half a million pounds to try and help women who have been exploited into this kind of industry. And that money's gonna help them to point out who is bringing this misery to the streets, the people who are, who are trafficking these women in, who are exploiting them in this way. And it's gonna offer support for the people on the streets, which is clear tonight that something that they really need. Okay, hello, I'm um, back in the same area that I was before, but as you can see, it's considerably later now. Uh, I would say it's about half 10, uh, look at my phone, and I've come back to the same area that I was in before, which is Shield Road and where it meets Molyneux Avenue in Kensington. And I wanted to see if, as I said before, there was around, I thought around, I could see around three sex workers in this area in the daytime. I've come back and again, we can't always guarantee that the, the women I'm referring to are sex workers, but in, in my opinion, I think I've seen about seven or eight different women who I would class as sex workers. But what is more shocking is, um, just as I pulled up on, on Molyneux Road here, I'm almost certain that I've seen a, a transaction taking place. Um, there was a woman stood on the corner of Shield Road there, a car pulled in, she leant into the window, and then I saw the car quickly reverse round, come down Molyneux Avenue, and it's just gone into a car park, literally next to where I'm sat here, and I watched the woman follow, head in and, and get into the car. And obviously it's, it's quite shocking to see that that happening, you know, first person. We can never guarantee exactly what's happening, but I'm almost certain that that is, is what's going on here. And it's, it's just really quite shocking to see it up close. I don't want to try and film what's going on because obviously it wouldn't be appropriate. And also you, you never know how people are gonna react, but um, that is what I've just witnessed. And it's, it's this car park literally um, at the corner of Shield Road and Molyneux Road. Um, so yeah, so I mean, if, if we wanted to see up close and personal whether the sex worker industry is prevalent in this area, it doesn't get much more of a, a real example than actually seeing that transaction take place. And as we were talking about before, we've been told by residents that this is becoming more and more of an issue in this specific area. And what I've seen tonight, both the number of people who I believe are sex workers, um, there, was, there was two women sat on the corner before with a, a gentleman sat with them who seemed to be involved, seemed to know them. Again, we can't speculate too much, but there seemed to be some sort of operation going on there. Overall, it is quite shocking to see how busy this trade is and how, how many people are involved in it in this very small part of Kensington. And I'll be passing this information on to Merseyside Police and to Jane Kennedy, the Police and Crime Commissioner, because when, with that money that, that they are using to, to launch support services for sex workers, I will, along with the residents here, I'm sure I'll be suggesting that this is an area that they focus on first. Once again, just to clarify, that's that's just what we witness here tonight, and I imagine it, it's sort of fairly typical of what goes on from what residents have said on most evenings in this area of Kensington. I've just come straight from a meeting in the building behind me, 
with the Kensington Community Association. And that's a group of people, about eight or nine of them I've just sat with for about an hour and listened to their stories about what is taking place in their area. They're all dreadfully unhappy with the state of things around here. They feel they've been totally forgotten about by everyone. And it's, there's been some really harrowing stories of constant crime, gangs of drug dealers on every corner, um, open prostitution. One woman told me that her little children now know what prostitutes are because they see them on the school run every day. Another shocking story of, of somebody openly defecating in, in their back alley. Uh, there's a lady there who's lived here for 35 years, loved the place, said it was the best community going. Now she's just sold her house and she can't wait to get away. And that's the case for all of these people. They feel they haven't got a voice. Um, none of them actually were prepared to go on camera um, or give me their names because they're so scared of, of the people around here, of the gangs, of the crime and they don't want any comeback on them because they're, they're frightened. A lot of them are frightened to go out of their house, um, particularly at night. Uh, they say there's a complete lack of community, lots and lots of um, big houses. And Hello, yes, Liam Thorpe, Liverpool Echo reporter, confirms Joe Owens is right. This is just a short video. Uh, the two reports by Liam Thorpe back in April 2017, they have proven that I am right and what has been and still is happening to that community, a once proud white working class community. So Joe Owens has been proven right once again. Like I say, it's just a short video this. Okay, thank you.